And welcome back to Skyrim Fits and Starts with Manfred and Uthgard, where we play the game to, oh, you know, level 10 or so maybe, and talk about mods and <clears throat> just have some fun with a, uh, a spontaneously created character and a, and a surprise starting spot. This is episode, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think six. Um, I haven't edited them all yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm at level I'm at uh, episode six here, um, <clears throat> and we just came out of Bleak Falls Barrow. We are completing part of the main quest so that we can uh, give Ulfric's axe to Jarl Balgruf the Great or Greater. I can't remember exactly which. Uh, right now, though, we're going to head quickly to uh, Riverwood and sell off a few items. We're going to look at the beautiful forest here through running through um, the forest near Riverwood and along the banks of Lake Illinalta and, and the, uh, the river that flows out of it. And, of course, we're always running into wolves and having to deal with them, poor creatures. And here's that nice little old lady, Anise. Hello, Anise. How are you today? We're not going to bother you today. We're just going to run on down here. Uh-oh. Where are you, Uthgard? Why was he after me? Hmm, let's see what he's got on him. Anything good? Skooma. He must have been just high on Skooma. Well, Manfred has no use for Skooma whatsoever. Little surly brother's wine can't hurt, though. <clears throat> Some meat, raw beef we can leave behind, a chicken breast, a bottle of ale, all good, solid things to have. I think she's probably running around because I kind of jumped down the cliff there. So we'll just keep on dashing down this way. I think I can go a little bit farther before we ford the the river. I believe it's called the White River because down far, a little farther below the falls is White River Watch. And this is a good fording spot right here. A few little hitches. I think some of those are just things happening like climates of Tamriel and time, time moving along and Probably some script hitches. And some hummingbirds. And here we are, we haven't been to Riverwood yet. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet rod. And need something? We haven't visited Helgen either. Uh, but first the first thing we have to do here is stop in to see the Riverwood trader, because I have a feeling I have something that he wants. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no! No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing! Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, hello. Uh, a customer. <laughs> sorry I'm, you had to hear I'm that. sorry to hear you were uh, having I don't know what you troubles. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Good, good. That's Robbers what we're here to do. After one thing. Hmm. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I just happen to have a golden claw like that. <laughs> you found it! <laughs> there it is! Yep. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> well, it's pretty Funny damn big. Thing, it's been huh? poking me in the back since I came out of there. I'm going to back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Well, good. Well, thank you. 400 gold. I'm, uh, that's very, very it kind of so you. so much to us to have the Thank claw you back so like much. I do have some things and ends, that, sort of thing. that I would like to parlay. 
So let's see, what have we got that we can sell? We can sell some amethysts and some garnets. We want to buy some lantern oil. And I'm sure he has some somewhere. Here we go. We'll buy five lantern oil. And then we probably have, yeah, the Staff of Sparks we don't need. Uh, the Hunting Knife we're going to hang on to just for old time's sake. A silver, you know, it's, it's, it is handy to have silver, but uh, at this point I'm not even going to worry about it. The Steel Dagger, don't need to carry the weight. We're going to get rid of these two, this, that. Uh, we're going to get rid of a scroll, but keep those fireball scrolls. Manfred isn't isn't averse to using scrolls. It's a form of magic he he feels that he can justify using, similar to shouts. Don't have a whole lot we want to get rid of on that score and there. So I think we're good now. Lucan might have a couple of things we want. We have a good hunting knife already. Not enough arrows to make it worth a purchase. Nothing there. We already have a travel lantern. We don't want any spell books. Food. A couple of bread, perhaps, worth having. And um, I think that's that's probably about it. We already have a, a tent. We don't need anything like that. Um, a cooking pot might be nice to have. Uh, they're kind of heavy, though. But you know what? Uh, I think we'll buy a cooking pot. And later on, perhaps, we'll build ourselves a tanning rack. But that's really not that important. Um, it might be nice at some point to have a mortar and pestle for some very minor alchemy, but I don't think that's too important at this point either, so I think we're done. Lucan, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure. So now we're going to go off to White Run, and I've had a little trouble. I'm not exactly sure what is causing it. I've redone my load order to see if it stops, but I was crashing when I tried to fast travel. Ooh, isn't that lovely? Look at that ground cover there. Uh, when I tried to fast travel directly to Dragon's Reach, I have shut off my autosave feature, and so right now I am going to simply uh, grab the horse and ride uh, back to, to Dragon's Reach. And we'll pick this back up when we get there. Still working on why the interior of Dragon's Reach is not as it should appear. If you remember, the interior of uh, the Palace of Kings looked quite spectacular. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. That was my load order issue. I had moved the, the, this this mod down in my load order, but I'm not sure if that's what was causing the crashes when I was fast traveling here. So yes. we're gonna we're gonna work on this uh, you know section. You see, um, you the can terminology see this has clearly a bit. first error or even earlier. Make it quick. This is a copy of a don't much tell me to text. make it quick. Perhaps I have something for you. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. Perhaps I am. So, what next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Oh, right. Undervalued. Like at the my Mage's College, perhaps? My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. Hmm. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? I did. Nice With work. some help. Here she comes. Just send me a copy when oh, you no, decide that's, it. Oh, no, that's Irolath. Sorry. Where's Baranga, you need to come at once. A dragon's hmm. been sighted nearby. You should come, too. A dragon? How exciting. Okay, I'm coming. Was it <laughs> what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Okay, let's go.
There's so, Balgruf. Yurilet tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. No bet. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. See, now Bob Burn. doesn't seem like a bad guy. Irlet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I, I don't haven't know about forgotten that. the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Hmm. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I don't think you'll be having me holding me in such like high esteem pretty soon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. Listen, I did Help what you asked. Help kill this ah. dragon before it can attack White Run. Aye, There's aye, no aye. time to lose. Okay, fine, fine. All I want to do is give you Ulfric's axe. All right, well, it seems we have to go kill a dragon. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a nice view of Bleak Falls Barrow there. So hopefully... It won't take too much to kill this dragon. We're still fairly low level. Gods and Dragon Reach say you've aided the yard. I do not have any dragon mods loaded. I don't think. Do I? Well, did I load deadly dragons? Yes, I did. Okay, so well, might be a little bit more of a fight then. What do you need? That's okay. You have questions. Need I something? have arrows. Do I have enough good arrows? Just ancient Nords, and I, oh, I have plenty of, that's right, I picked up tons of steel arrows. And just make sure I have those, so, oops, pardon me, those selected, mm -hmm. all right. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Oh, oh shut up, Mazzini. So, let's see, what is it? It is 8.15, so we have a little bit of light left, but pretty much we're going to finish this battle in the dark, I think. Um, we'll get on out ahead of the, uh, of the troops and check out the lay of the land here. Let Uthgird follow up. Now, after this, after, once we have um, given Balgruf the axe, he will bid us send it back to Ulfric since they understand each other as good Nords. And I think that then Uthgird and I are going to do some adventuring. Perhaps we'll come back to lay siege to Whiterun. Not sure about that. We're, we're, we're right at level 6 now. So we're going to take this. Uh, we ha we re I really want to try to pursue a little bit of Manfred's background with his with his, you know, being an orphan and and coming from Riften, and a little bit of where he's been uh, over the last 53 or 4 years or so. Here comes Uthgird. Uh, let's just wait a minute. We're just going to do a quick wait. No there signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Alright, let's do this. Oops. So we're gonna, we're gonna run down here and we're gonna check out the tower. See if the guards have anything to say about this.
It's dark. It's going to be hard to see the dragon in the dark. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Where? Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for Well, it. let's run upstairs and see if we can see it. Kidder, let's save us. Here he comes again. Uh-oh. There he is. Ooh, I got that. <laughs> got him again, too. Nice. Good, two good shots there. We're gonna sneak a bit. There he is. And he's gonna come in for a landing. Side here, I want to avoid those fireballs. This is okay. Where is he? There we go. Oh, moves right there. Uh, oh, I blow. Ah, come on, come on, come on, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Ah, phooey. Are you kidding me? I gotta re record all of that. So we died, and here we are back here. Had to actually. <laughs> I hadn't saved, so first let me do a quick save here, and uh, I ended up all the way back at uh, Bleak Balls Barrow because I've turned off my auto saves. So anyway, enough talk about that. We're here, and we're gonna wait for. No signs of the dragon right here she now. Is. But it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Shut up. All right, so Balgruf gave me a hide helmet of archery for my help with the dragon stone, so I am going to use that, even though I, I fear I will betray his kindnesses and his trust in me by taking the side of the storm cloak. But that's just the way it is. Uh, Manfred is a true Nord. Get, no, get back. It's still here somewhere. Let's run back up here and Let's see if we can get us. another good here shot at Mermel near. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Got a couple of good shots in again. This time we'll try to stay out of his, his fire breath. Let's see where he is. Where is he? Come on. Come on, fight back. Oh, there he is. Whoop, whoop. Oh, not good. Where are you? That's a couple shots there. Ooh, ooh. Ah, yes. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Run around, run around, run around. Where is he? There he is. There he is, right there. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, God, hit the wrong key. Ah, at least we'll start back at the at the stone. What can I say? I'm old. 
No re signs of reflexes aren't right what they now. should be anymore. It sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Shut up. Look All right. We need to know this deal. time, we're going to get him. That fire is pretty nasty. And of course we have no fire resistance whatsoever, don't even have any potions. So let's trigger Froki and Tor. Get under cover. The dragon, it's still around somewhere. Kid Red save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Alright, let's see. Again, I got in a couple of good shots there. Just gotta stop running out in front of the flames. There it is. Okay, run over this side. It's gonna land back there again. This time he's hovering. Okay. Come down here and I love Aerolath with her spells and her sword. Maybe you can just catch him here. Oh. Where's she? It's shock, not frost. Okay. Of course, being a dark elf, I guess that's not too surprising. Where is he over here? There he is, right there. I think we can get him this time. Yes! No! Dovahkiin, yes! Whatever that is. Well, Manfred wouldn't know until right now. He can certainly s feel something welling up inside him. Some kind of force and a sense of power that he's never felt in his life. So let's just quickly... That's right, I got slow time too, I forgot. So. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. Well, I may or may not be dragonborn, but... Uh... In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I certainly felt some kind of power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragon. All right, but only what if you really insist. About? That's right. My ghost is used to tell stories he about the dragonborn. The born. Those born with the dragon hmm. blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. That felt good. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. <laughs> there weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in, in forever. forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerileth? They're being awfully quiet. Yeah, Yerileth, you're also Yerileth. standing in the middle of Tell a dragon. Us, do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's well, she a is dead a practical dragon, woman, I can say that And that's that something I definitely yeah. understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting. That what is you just good did? advice, Must man. Be. Good advice. You really are dragonborn, then. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. 
Well, I'm you better get certainly back to on your side right when it away. comes to dragons. Yarl Balgra will want to know what happened here. And it will certainly pain me to fight against you in the coming war. But that is the side that Manfred has chosen. <clears throat> so we're going to run back to White Run. We're going to grab an inn for the night because it's late. It's 11.30. Yarl Balgra, if I'm certain, is already in bed. He might be up waiting to, find, to get news, but we're certainly tired. And it's time to have some sleep. We'll get up in the morning and... That sounded like it came up, came from up there on that mountain, but... Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, what for many of you is a reprise of many times watching this sequence of events unfold. But hopefully with a little bit of a twist to it this time with, with my, my, my take on it. Anyway, we're going to, as I said, we're going to go to an inn. We're going to have a rest. We're going to have a breakfast. We're going to run up and see Jarl Balgruf. And then Uthgird and I are going to go on uh, to a couple of things. We're going to make our way back to Windhelm. And on the way, perhaps, we're going to have a couple of adventures. So until then, thank you for watching. This is Skyrim Fits and Starts with Manfred Testerson and Uthgird the Unbroken. Until next time. Huh?